Aloha, and welcome to this really brief screencast uh, where I want to talk about Git Ignore um, and how you can use the Git Ignore file to um, kind of clean up your your use of Git and GitHub with IntelliJ. So to do this, let me start by making a, a new repo. Um, Which is there we go, um, and we'll call it demo ignore. And we're not going to create a git ignore file, but we'll create the repo, and then we want to download this to our local file system. So we'll clone it down to here, and we've got this demo ignore file. And then what we're going to do is uh, bring up IntelliJ IDEA and create a new project. We'll just make it a web project, and we're gonna uh, make it around that demo ignore. Okay, so now we've got this thing, and what we'll do is we'll create a um, a new file. We'll call it foo.txt, and we'll add it to Git, and we'll type some text. Uh, work on the foo project. Okay, so and we'll save it out. Now let's go over to GitHub, and we'll see that we have uh, a bunch of these .idea files plus our foo .txt file, which is what we really want to do. But you know, we'll just go ahead and commit. So um, initial work on foo. So we'll commit and sync. Okay, so now we've pushed up to um, the foo repo. If we go here, we can see that uh, we've got .idea, the .idea um, file created by IntelliJ, our foo.txt, which is our actual work and the project definition. Um, and if we go back to uh, IntelliJ, okay, now let's do a little more work. Do some more work in foo. Let's also do something like, I don't know, just move the screen a little bit, okay? Well, if we now go back to GitHub, um, and, oh, let me just save out this, sorry. Okay, if we now go back to GitHub, okay, what we're gonna see is that we've got our changes to foo.txt, but we've also got changes to the, the workspace.xml file, and that's a bunch of kind of stuff related to, you know, the current state of the, the window. And that's not stuff that we want to always be committing. In fact, so what I'll do is I'll say, you know, commit uh, some foo progress. Okay, so I'll commit and sync that. Okay. And then, you know, but I can just go here and just move this, you know, kind of puppy around. Okay. And in fact, now I've got changes. I haven't really changed. I haven't changed foo.txt at all, but I've got all these stupid things to actually uh, commit that is superfluous. Okay, so the question is, how do we fix that? And the general, what we want to do is we want to ignore that .idea file. Okay, um, and I want to show you a more general purpose mechanism for dealing with these kinds of problems. In general, there's this system called gitignore.io where no matter what kind of project you're working on, it will generate the kinds of files that you know you probably want to ignore. So it's a good kind of first pass. So we can type in IntelliJ, and maybe it's a Java project, so we could also type in Java, and then we can say generate, and we get a git ignore file that will, for example, ignore the .idea directory. So let's um, select this whole thing and copy it. And the question is, well, how do we get this kind of in our file? And, and if you're using the, the desktop API, you can click on settings, and then you can actually paste into this ignore file, and then you can save the changes. And if we go back here, we can see, oh, okay, now we've got our git ignore, so we can commit, plus our changes to the XML file, commit uh, ignore file. Okay. And now, theoretically, we should be all good, right? Well, if we go uh, to test, if we go back here and we move things around, um, and then we go back to GitHub, we see shoots. The git ignore is not ignoring, 
okay? Um, and the reason why Git ignore is not ignoring is because we've already committed that idea directory to Git, and so ignore doesn't really work on files that are not ignored. Um, it doesn't override an already non-ignored file. So how do, we, how do we kind of get things the way we want them to? Well, the simplest thing to do is actually to go into IntelliJ, and what we'll do is we'll just delete this. Okay, and then if we go to GitHub, we see we're deleting that idea file. So delete the .idea file. So we commit and sync that. Okay, and now that that's done, if we can now go back to um, our um, IntelliJ, and what you'll see is that it's actually regenerated the file. Okay, so it, it had very little effect on us locally, but the important thing is that if we now go to GitHub, what you can see is that in our GitHub repository, both uh, at GitHub and lo in our local repo, we have a we no longer have that dot uh, idea file in our repo, and we have a dot ignore saying don't you know, uh, ignore it, okay? So what that means is that now, unlike before, we can now do yet some more work in our foo directory. We can save it out, we can move things around. Let's move it down here just so we believe that it's in a new location. And if we go back to GitHub, what we can see is, oh, this is awesome. Only the foo.txt file is actually uh, indicated as something we have to save. So we'll say save out work on foo.txt. Text. Okay? And so now everything works the way you want it to do. So basically, uh, you know, what I want you to get from this is that this git ignore um, dot io is a nice way to generate the git ignore files appropriate to whatever kind of project you work with. They have like a, you know, 203 different operating system ID and programming language templates. You can have multiple ones and string them together. Once you've got that, you basically go into GitHub, go under settings. That's where you can place it in. Um, there's command line equivalents to all of this, okay? I'm just showing you the, the uh, you know, the kind of the UI version. And then you may have to delete it. If you if you've haven't done it when you first set up your project, then you may have to delete it, uh, delete the, the offending files from your repo in order to get the git ignore to actually work. So there you have it, git ignore, great useful thing, can save you all sorts of you know, trauma when you're looking at your uh, things to commit. I uh, hope you like it.